Welcome to this background images video. You can download the exercise workbook and data sets to follow along in your own copy of Tableau. Tableau Desktop can bring in background images and plot data over those images like a background map. The basic steps involve importing the image and specifying a coordinate system by mapping both the X and Y axes to measures in the data set. Adding an image must be done in regards to a specific data set. For this video, we'll work with the Hong Kong MTR system. Here we have a partially completed Excel file with line and station data, as well as placeholder columns for X and Y. As a note, Tableau needs things formatted in certain ways to bring in background images successfully. The X and Y fields need to be measures, and there needs to be a scale assigned to each axis of the image. The steps we'll follow in this video are not necessarily requirements, but they make the process work smoothly. Before we do anything else, we'll record the dimensions of the image in the X and Y columns of our spreadsheet. Our image is 840 by 623, so we'll enter that and save the spreadsheet. Now in Tableau, we'll connect to that data set. and click on the sheet. Next, go to Map, Background Images, click on our data set, and select Add Image. We'll browse to our image file. We can use standard image types, including PDFs, and Tableau automatically maps the axes in our fields, but we'll update the Y fields to Y. We'll specify the left and right as 0 to 840, and bottom and top is 0 to 623. This essentially creates an axis along each dimension of the image we can use to plot data later. We don't have to use the dimensions, this could be any scale, but the dimensions are convenient. If the image is a map, use the appropriate range of latitude and longitude. On the Option tab, we'll click Always Show Entire Image. This keeps Tableau from adjusting the view since we always want to see the whole MTR. To bring the image into the view, place the field map to the x-axis to the columns shelf and the field map to the y-axis to the rows shelf. Next, we need to know the x and y coordinates for each place we'll want to plot data. For us, that's the island line. Right-click on the first station and select Annotate, Point. We can increase the size here and hit OK. These coordinates need to be entered into the data set, replacing the dimension as we go. To move to the next station, simply click and drag where the point annotation is pointing to. In the interest of time, I'll paste in all the relevant values into the spreadsheet. This data set is available for download under the video. Let's remove our annotation, right click, remove, and now that we've saved the Excel workbook with all of those stations coordinate data, we'll right click on the data source and select refresh. This brings in the coordinates we entered for X and Y. However, we're currently plotting X and Y as sums, so our image looks pretty odd. Let's break out the data by bringing station to detail. This will create a mark for each station. Then we'll add line to color. And we can make them solid circles. And editing the colors, we'll match the legend with purple and green. We can even maybe add a black halo. We can right click on the axis and uncheck show headers. To remove those axes from the view. Then we have a nice clean background image with our points plotted. Thank you for watching this background images training video. We invite you to continue with the on-demand videos to learn more about using Tableau.